Welcome to Protagonist Pub. My name is Tammy. And this is where characters gather. So today, I thought I would go over my first quarter reading stats. And this is new to me. I don't generally keep track of reading stats. So it's a new experience for me. And it was actually, I learned a little bit about my reading habits. So I have the trusty laptop. <clears throat> so I will link a copy of my blog down below, a copy of my favorite book or books of the quarter, and any videos I mentioned links, I will link all that down below in the description. So for the first quarter of 2023, I read an amazing 44 books. I do not know how that happened. I wasn't trying to hit some goal. I was just reading. I read 44 books. I counted multiple times to make sure that number was correct. And it was. <clears throat> so for those 44 books, I read a total of 16,862 pages. What? Okay. I read a total of 29 new to me authors. I read 10 different genres. And I met 13 out of my 30 goals on my 2022 reading personal reading challenge. <clears throat> and the goals that I have checked off so far are I have read a classic. I have read a nonfiction. I have read historical fiction. I have read a romance, a science fiction, a cozy. I have listened to an audiobook. I have read a fairy tale retelling. I have read 23 new to me authors. I have read a book set in autumn. I have read a middle grade book. I have read the oldest book on my TBR. And I have read the shortest book on my TBR. <clears throat> I was not expecting that by this point I would have knocked out almost half of my reading goals of the year. And when I added them up and, you know, I checked off how many there were, I was surprised and also a little bit dismayed because I know that the reading goals left on my 2023 reading challenge. Some of them are very big honking books. For instance, if I'm grabbing it correctly here. Don't you just love when books don't want to come out of their hiding spot in the cabinet? <clears throat> James Michener's Texas is on my list to finish this year. I am that far into it. I don't think that even counts, to be honest. I am 110 pages into almost... Fourteen hundred and twenty nine pages. I haven't scratched the surface. <clears throat> I think this one needs to come out of my bookcase and, and be the book that follows me around or I can grab it easily when I go outside to read and spend time with the dogs and the flock. I'm enjoying it. It's just it. It's intimidating at this point. Um. So what were my favorite books of the quarter? Wait, first let's do my least favorite books of the quarter. There are two. <clears throat> they are pretty much neck and neck for being my least favorite. One is slightly less favorable than the other. This is not a reflection on members of my book group. This is a reflection on me as a reader and being slightly older than the remainder of my book group members are <clears throat> with different life experiences. And that's all this is a reflection of. It is not a reflection of my book group at all. So the one that just barely misses being my least favorite book of the year so far 
is Outlander by Diana Galvedon. I will link that video down below. I, 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 I read this book a month and a half ago now. Still vehemently do not understand why, why anyone enjoys this book. Why anyone considers this book romantic. Don't get it. We'll never get it. Don't try and convince me. It's just not for me. And I am okay with that. And in the top spot for dislike of the first quarter of 2023 would be The Silent Patient by Alex Michelides. Oh, that video I will link down below as well. Did not like this book. There were so many things wrong with this book. And I read this book at the beginning of January and it still just does not sit correctly with me. Be that it's May, I'm done. I don't want to talk about it anymore ever again. Unless it shows up at the end of the year wrap up. So what were my favorite reads of the first quarter of 2023? I did not put this on the laptop. This is spur of the moment. What is my gut telling me? Um, these are all so close. I can't tell you which is my favorite. So first up, these were all on my Kindle. So I will put their photos here or here, depending on how the video looks. Um, first up would be a game of hearts by Joanna Barker. This is a clean romance read in Sierra, unique setting, wonderful writing. I want to read more from her. I loved that back catalog. I, I want that back catalog. This was truly an amazing story. And then there are the two Jenny Proctor books I read. How to Kiss Your Best Friend and How to Kiss Your Grumpy Boss. There are books one and two in the Hawthorne Brothers series. I uh, These are funny and clean and amusing and sweet. And you, you just, you're eager for the next book in the series because they are so engaging and captivating. They're on Kindle Unlimited. You could buy a copy read these books and then the last book that is my favorite of the first quarter is probably memory lane by becky wade um i read the art copy it is released now this is excuse the bird he is in a mood today this is christian romance it is lighter on the faith than some of other Becky Wade's books. However, I did not have a problem with that. I did not have a problem with the content in this book. I loved the story of the two of the protagonists. And I also really, really loved the story of Walter and Marisol, who are the Walter's a side character. And he's in his 80s. Marisol was his first love. And it was so sweet and so romantic and just filled your heart with joy. And I am thrilled that Becky has confirmed on Instagram that Walter and Marisol are in book two. So I'm eagerly looking forward to book two. And I think those four are my favorite reads for the first quarter of 2023. And I read a lot of books. And it's surprising to me that all four of those books are romances. And they're all, other than the two Jenny Proctors, because they're in the same series and those the same type. All of those romances are different in tone and character and setting and 
everything, but they're, they were all just what my heart and soul needed to read when I read them. Um, I think they are all available on Kindle Unlimited except Memory Lane. And they all deserve to be purchased by you. I have, they are wonderful. And so I am excited to look forward to the second quarter of 2023. It's gotten off to a very good start so far. Today is the 4th of April. And I have read three books so far in the second quarter. It has been a very good start to the, to the year. So I'm thankful for that. I will keep track of my stats in the second quarter and see how it goes. I will continue to work on Texas because really one should read the novel of where one lives if it's available. So those are my first quarter stats. Did you keep track of yours? If you did, please comment down below, like, and subscribe, and I will see you here next time at the Protagonist Pub.